doing out there? How has this full moon in Libra? How's that been going, right? All right, so this is going to be about what you need to balance. Okay, so what right now, whether it's love, whether it's business, whether it's career, whether it's personal growth, relationships, yeah, whatever it is, what is it that you need to balance? And this is going to go by your zodiac sign. Um, and then your sun, moon, and ascendant of that zodiac sign. So, if it's for Aries, it's for Aries, sun, moon, and ascendant. Okay? Or some people like to say rising, sun, moon, and rising. Same thing. <laughs> it just means it's in your first house. That's all. So, let's get into the energies of the Libra full moon. Now that we're fully into it, let's see what kind of advice these cards have to tell you about how to balance or what needs to be balanced. Enjoy. What's around Sun, Moon, and Ascendants, Gemini? This is your tarot reading for the full moon and Libra energy. So you got the Queen of Cups, huh? Look at you. Okay, Geminis. So you are all in your intuition at this moment. This is all, you know subconsciously type of thing so i don't know if you're dreaming a lot you might be dreaming a little bit more than what you have been um if there's any gemini dreamers uh, yeah comment below so um some gemini's may say i don't dream <laughs> your mind's so busy that you don't even dream right but um the queen of cups here so yeah so all the feelings and thoughts are going on inside so if you get a dream journal if you are dreaming put it aside if you're not if you don't if you are not dreaming you might just want to put a pen and paper on the side anyway because you might start getting more dreams than usual during this um full moon energy that's happening um and because a lot of times the when you go to sleep that's when the subconscious starts to get active right so you want to catch some of those that information and some of that tea that's going on especially gemini's um Gemini's are a non-emotional sign, you know what I mean? So the fact that you, you're experiencing these emotions like in your subconscious is kind of like, it, it's good, you know what I mean? Because I don't want you to be all scared like, oh my gosh, feelings, whoa, 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 feelings. No, Gemini's not like that. So it's under control for a lot of y'all, you know? And um, whether you know it or not, you know, it shows that around you. So you might see people who are coming to you asking you for advice or asking you for um, your opinion on certain things when it comes to love or um, what should they do when it comes to this or that, you know, um, because you have this intuitive um, aura around you that you just, you just know, um, you're tapped into that. And um, highly because of Libra uh, moon, and that is your um, sister sign. So that energy, of course, is going to benefit you um, as an opportunity or as a gift, should I say, to um, tap in, <laughs> you know, tap in a little bit more than other people would. So right now you are actually feeling people like you can go up to somebody and you already know what they're feeling or just look in their face and you already know what they're feeling. You're like, dang, man, I know that person. Da -da 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 -da. You know what I mean? Or I know she happy. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it is, you're in tune with that and keep that up and use that during this full moon energy time. Just because you see it shedding, you know what I mean, or waning does not mean that, oh, it's all over the full moon. No, that stuff be lasted. And you know, if anybody know Libras, you know Libras. If they ain't ready to go, they ain't ready to go. When they're ready to go, they're ready to go. Okay, so the, the energy is just lingering over here. So use that, use this intuition to balance out your life. If you, especially if you have a question, you know, ask yourself first because what better way than yourself knowing what to do, you know what I mean? So ask yourself first, write it down and ask yourself first, you know, what is it that you should do? And based on you having this nice connection with the moon energy 
and the subconscious mind, you'll be able to answer your own questions. And that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway every day. But yeah, I, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? We look usually at other things in order to help us make decisions when it actually is supposed to be inside out. Right, Gemini's? Right. So she is in her head right now. Um, she is not really, you know, she's surrounded by water. You're surrounded by water, meaning emotions. That means other people could be emotional around you. You know, you could probably get in your feels for a second, just a second, and then snap out of it real quick because Queen of Cups is not really, she know how to balance her emotions really well. Like she don't, she, she, she knows where to cut the boundaries are, where all the sob stories, she's going to stop right now because I, I don't knew it. I know you full of, you know what I mean? And you ain't going to pull that wool over my eye. This is what's going on right now. You know, I feel your aura right now. You're giving me red. So I'm coming back tomorrow when you turn blue and then we can have a conversation. This is what the Queen of Cups, she is emotionally balanced. So make sure you stay emotionally balanced during this time. If you feel like Gemini, you just popping off. You ain't emotionally balanced at all. Your, 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 your dreams are going nuts. You don't even know how to decipher them or you're not dreaming at all. But you're kind of like having these outbursts. Um, you know, just some inconsistencies with the emotions. You don't know how to deal with all this yeah, yeah, yucky feelings of what is this type stuff. You know what I mean? All right, you can go into the closet. You can light a candle. You know what I mean? metaphorically okay this means time to yourself and start take care of yourself you know take a bath give yourself a foot bath a foot massage um whether you massage your feet or you let like the water do it however it is you know do some type of self-love self-care something like that also if you're dependent like too like eh, you know like a whiny kid where your parents can't never leave them nowhere they always just whining all the time it don't matter if they at disney world they whining they don't care if they had a birthday party they whining you don't care if they got all the gifts in front of you they whine in, they just run to somebody for comfort, usually their mom or their dad or something like that. Don't, you know, don't, that energy might be happening with you in it, that, for you, Gemini's, and that's just not going to cut it. <laughs> Especially with the moon in Libra, that's just not going to cut it. So start taking care of yourself a little bit more. Don't look at other people to take care of you and to love you. Start to love yourself during this full moon time and you got the time to do it during the full moon because that's what it's all about anyway is stopping and taking time to take care of yourself because queens what queens take care of themselves right right whether somebody is with them or not with them a queen is going to make sure she takes care of herself and that she checks her emotions at all times so you make sure you do that gemini oh yeah and keep that dream journal next to you right by your bed next to a working um, pen or pencil have a good day and night gemini sun moon ascendance